And it's funny because Don and I had some some interesting and some complicated re- uh, conversations sometimes. Yeah. Because Brady, we'll talk yeah. about Brady's deal because I didn't get to do your deals. So Brady's first deal was you know the rookie contract, and and um, I'll say this: unfortunately, we were doing business at that point in time, not thinking long term yeah. and relationships. It was a very bottom line way of doing things, and it was something Bill and I weren't comfortable with, and and and. We um, so Tommy's first deal, he got less than he should have for his slot. There wasn't slotting back then, but everyone knew what the slot was. Yeah. It wasn't called the slot, and and we broke his shoes a little bit. Um, unfortunately, um, the people that were doing the contracts at that time, and then when it came time for Tommy's next deal, I was doing the next deal, and then the next deal, and, and I'll never forget. We were at this one point in time. I think it was maybe Tommy's third deal. It might have been. And Don and I weren't making progress. And we were trying to keep the team together, right? That was part of our thing. We didn't expect people to take home team discounts. We were hopeful that that people would want to spread it and keep the winning because we felt, you know, high tides raise all boats. And and the the more that we won, there was all these other opportunities, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll never forget... Don and I couldn't get anywhere. And Tommy was getting annoyed because he was getting distracted. Not annoyed with anyone. He just yeah. he just wanted to think about ball. And I'll never forget. One morning he comes up to my office and he knocks and he comes in and he closes the door and he says, Hey, can we talk about this contract? I'm like, Tommy, you we can't have a negotiation. That's against the rules. We're not allowed. He goes, Listen, we got to talk. But he and I had a really good and close relationship. And he said, Where are you guys at? So I told him where we were at, told him where you guys are at. And he says, what's the drop dead number? I'm saying, Tommy, we can't have this conversation. I got to talk to Don about this. And I'll never forget, it was the deal when he signed. It was the, I want to say it was the six year, 10 million a year deal. Yeah. Think about that. Six years, 60 million. I, 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 it was like, and I'll never forget. I said, that's probably our, our choke point. But we're playing this game, Don and I, that you, it's not a game. I, I shouldn't call it that. We're having this negotiation where one team's low, uh, one side's low, one team's high, and you're trying to find the middle spot. And I'll never forget. Tommy looks at me, shakes his head, looks away, goes, "If I can't live the rest of my life off of sixty million dollars and my family," he says, "I've got problems." He's like, "Get Don on the phone." I'm like, "Tommy, we can't, we can't, we can't do this." He says, "Get him on the phone." We got on the phone and <laughs> and put it on speaker. And Tommy goes, hey, Don, it's Tom. He goes, hey, how you doing? Da, da. He goes, and you know, Don's all upbeat. And he goes, I got you on speakerphone. I'm in Scott's office. Dead silence. <laughs> Dead silence. He goes, and Don's like, what are you doing there? He's like, Don, listen, man, this is ridiculous. He says, I- I'm talking to Scott. And I'm like sweating because it wasn't a negotiation. Yeah. He was just asking. And anyway, Tommy's like, listen, you guys just get this done. And, and, and I go, I'm go. i bringing this story up because I go back to Don. Don and Steve could have made so much more money yeah. if they didn't do what their client wanted. And Tom, you know, Don and Steve have left money on the table year after year after year after year by doing what their clients wanted and maybe not trying to talk their clients into something that, that would pay them greater 3%. Anyway, I, I don't mean to make that a long story, but it's just... I think the world of Don Yee. Yeah, Don Yee's, we call him the dragon, bro. He's just calm, cool, and collect.